So we're currently on day two of our robot building so far. And uh, we finished our lift mechanism to a degree. So right here, the plan is we want to hit two points primarily, other than our intake point. We want to be able to score on our alliance goal that's going to be housed here. Um, and we're currently building the mobile goal intake for that. But the other thing we have to do is we need to be able to pick up one of the tall goals, ideally the super tall one, and be able to score on that. So that means we have to hit a point here, and we also need to hit a point here. So the best way to do that, we've thought, is we can use a four bar and then we can also use a chain bar on top. So that way we can get the degrees of freedom that we need to hit this point and this point with our intake, which is somewhere else. But this should be allow us to pick up all of these goals and score them in the right positions. So the way we're going about this, we have this four bar right here, and this is a uh, one to seven gear ratio. Right now we have a 200 RPM motor in here, so hopefully um, that should be enough torque, but worst case scenario, we're going to add some rubber bands and test, and otherwise we'll switch it to a 100 RPM cartridge. And then on the top right here, we're just doing a chain bar. Right now we're running a 100 RPM motor on a 1 to 5 ratio. Um, we're thinking this should be enough torque definitely to move our manipulator. The manipulator is kind of heavy, so that's why we're going with this kind of setup. But again, this is all subject to changing based on um, how our testing goes. Great. And um, is there any difficulties or challenges so far? Um, the primary difficulty that we've been facing is we have one goal sitting here and one goal sitting there, and each goal has a post, right? So if we have a post coming up like this, and then we're going to have another post, and we have branches coming off in all the directions, it means that the bracing that we put has to be in really strategic locations. Like, for example, um, if we put a brace right here, we wouldn't actually be able to move our lift all the way down because we would hit the post here. Um, so figuring out where to put the bracing and connect it all together is the main challenge. And one thing that we're still working through right now is whether we can actually run a, uh, a, a high strength axle from this side of the lift to the other side. But if we do run this, it would allow us to have a much more stable lift. And that way, we wouldn't have an issue with one side being higher than the other. But the issue is, again, we have this post that we're working through that challenge right now. But so far, it's coming together pretty well. And we'll see in testing how it goes.